Thank y'all for asking me how I'm doing. But I want to know how y'all are doing. Okay, chat. What? Two of my favorite shows. Two of my favorite shows, which literally surprised me in the same way. Because I didn't expect them to be how they were. First show being... Um, Invincible. Somebody told me about Invincible, told me I needed to check out Invincible, da, 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 and y'all know how, yeah, y'all tell me that, y'all recommend me shows all the time, but I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna check it out when I, whenever I check it out, and then I eventually, I do eventually check it out, still haven't watched the Let It Shine movie, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna check it out, still haven't watched Moon Knight yet, I'll get to that when I get to it, okay, um, but Invincible was a show that somebody told me about, uh, and I checked it out, and I was watching it. I was like, this is literally, it's just a, cart a cartoon superhero show. Okay, cool. And then the last 10 minutes of the show happened. I was like, oh, holy fucking shit. Boom. Immediately got hooked. Then another show, The Boys. Pete, uh, uh, somebody was telling me about that show. I was like, uh, I don't, uh, another fucking superhero. I'm sick of the fucking superheroes. I don't care about these superheroes. Oh, fuck, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'll fucking watch it, okay? I watched it. Same thing. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Superhero movie, but it's fucking real life. Okay, I fucking get it. Then the last, uh, then the last 10 minutes, <laughs> then the last 10 minutes of the, of the, uh, of the episode. And I was like, oh, oh shit. And, uh, now I was hooked on that. And a new season's dropping. Oh, is there, is there supposed to be another season of Invincible 2? I need to know what, what happened and what, what Pops is on. Um, Speaking of pops, uh, we got the dad and the, the dad. All right, I guess he's, he ain't really a, he, he, he is a dad. But he be like sucking the milk on the, if you ain't seen the show, you don't know what I'm talking about. But apparently Omni-Man versus Homelander, death battle is here. Who am I going to go for? I mean, has Homelander bled? I don't, I don't know if I've seen him bleed. I know Omni-Man, he's bled. Hmm. Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes. Ice cream, make stars, stop them out. It's a man down. Maybe Milo custom PC getting fanned out. Not from the block, I'm from the H and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a knife gun, we gon' spray him down. They says, he, they say he sucked what? Bro, he was literally sucking the milk. Like, dude just is weird. Dude is weird. Bro. He's fucking don't weird. I don't blow off this question. So when we watching short films again. Omni Man versus Homeland. Yo, man, I don't know, dude. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna say, well, bro, Homelander's literally like Superman. Omni Man is, like, he, he can take damage. I don't know if Homelander actually takes damage, though. I feel like I feel like unfortunately Omni Man might get clapped in this. I fuck with Omni Man though. I literally I love Omni Man, bro. I fuck with him, bro. He he fucking cool, bro. He fire, bro. Howdy, neighbor. Coco, it's warm. You know, no one. Homelander is more than just a superhero. It might be cynical to say this, but he's a a brand, and it's very important to me that that brand mean something. And if I'm playing second fiddle to some goddamn alien, what's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? Nah, oh, she's shy. So do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. No, I'm going to feed you your own heart. <laughs> Shit. That was a great line. Damn! <laughs> country? Seriously? I'm not here for your country. All these houses fucked up.
Bro, he got to put him in front of a train. He has to put him in front of a train, bro. Are those the actual voice actors? No way. They're, 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 I don't think so. gonna get it never been hit by someone your own size before you have to turn with the punch to reduce oh shit i guess he does fucking bleed i'm I, I'm, I'm changing to omni man because i know the nigga bled, bled i don't i didn't know he i don't remember him bleeding then again it's been a minute since i watched the the, the, the show man better oh my god <laughs> What's the matter? Are you going to cry? Doctor, I'm done with you! I'm gonna flash right out of those shit son of yours! This was last neighborhood! And every goddamn person you know! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Remember what I promised you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. KO! We that nigga is so cool, bro. He's so fucking cool. What the fuck? How do you eat? I like. How do you eat? I never seen somebody just eat this shit. Right, that little shit son of yours. This was last neighborhood, and every goddamn person you know. I like the fact that in this animation, when he grabbed his jaw, he didn't even like take it off. He just like kind of ripped the flesh off and dislocated it, like. Jesus Christ. Remember what I promised you. Now swallow. <laughs> Merry Christmas. KO! Wiz! If there's a god, it sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, relatively speaking. Homelander can move faster than sound, while Omni-Man can move faster than light. Mm. Homelander can survive a nuke, while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. To be fair, Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man didn't, like his heat vision. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed against continuous exposure to the heat of stars, that still took quite a bit of time, and there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Hell, Nolan's tanked heat vision from the superhero Mean Supreme before, who can vaporize people in an instant. Even if it was hot enough. Damn. Bro, that wasn't even a fight, that was a massacre. Yeah, that was, I mean, dear God. Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. Similarly, despite being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming, Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, while Homelander is pretty devious when the situation calls for it, Omni-Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years. He comes from a warrior culture based on fighting. Homelander, on the other hand, comes from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because he was always so much stronger than everyone else and that's the key difference between them wait there's a um there's a animated series for the boys eating homelander on the other hand comes from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because he was always so much stronger than everyone else and that's the key well, oh sh where is it at ow fuck <laughs> difference between them one is a warrior and the other is a bully homelander was never it's on am what the fuck i didn't know that hold on let me get my trusty ben pen well, i don't know where my pen is 
Oh, here. Never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. When it comes to Superman knockoffs, Homelander had to eat his heart out. The winner is Omni-Man. Damn! Vicious. Death Battle is back, and we've launched a brand new membership program for our YouTube channel. By directly supporting our team, you'll get unique emotes, badges, and additional content, and a bunch more. Click that join button to see more info, and thanks so much for watching. Hell yeah, man. Of course. Wait. Um, um. Is that Magneto? I don't know who that is. Magneto versus Tetsuo. Who's that, chat? I'm sure you guys know. Fucking nerds. Fucking nerds, man. Am I right? Am I fucking right, guys? You guys are fucking nerds. A Akira. From Akira. What the fuck is Akira, bruh?